Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series. In the last video, we discussed what is pass-through authentication and how does it work. In this particular video, I will be discussing what is soft match and hard match in Azure AD Connect. I will be discussing the difference between soft match and hard match, and then I will be showing you practically how we can perform soft match and hard match. Soft match or hard match is a process to match an Azure Active Directory account with on-premise Active Directory account. So let's understand what is the concept behind soft match and hard match. When we synchronize a user account from on-premise Active Directory to Azure Active Directory, this is called synchronized identity. That means this user account is getting synchronized from on-premise Active Directory. And if you want to make any changes to the attributes of this particular account, all these changes will be performed from on-premise Active Directory. When you create a user account in Office 365, that type of identity or object is called cloud hosted identity. That means this object can be managed directly from Office 365 or from Azure Active Directory. Now let's assume that the account that you have created in Office 365, you want to manage this account from on-premise Active Directory. That means if you want to change display name for this user or you want to modify any attribute for this particular account, you want to do all these changes from on-premise Active Directory, not from Office 365. So to achieve this, we have two options. The first option is we can simply delete this account from Office 365 and we can create same account in on-premise Active Directory. And then we can simply synchronize this account from on-premise Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. So this way, this account will become synchronized account and it can be managed from on-premise Active Directory. However, if this user account has an Exchange Online Mailbox, in that scenario, deleting the user account is not recommended because you will lose the entire mailbox for this user account. So in that scenario, we use the second option and the option is soft match or hard match. So now let's understand how soft match and hard match work. Soft match can be performed on the basis of three attributes, display name, user principal name, and proxy address. Let's assume that we have created a user account in Office 365 and his display name is Bob Ross. User principal name is bob at domain.com and proxy address is bob ross at domain.com. We will create a user account in on-premise Active Directory with the same values where display name, user principal name, and proxy address attributes will have the same values that Office 365 account has. And then we will run Azure AD Connect Sync Cycle. When this sync cycle will complete, these two accounts will match with each other and the Office 365 account will become synchronized identity. So this is how soft match works. Hard match is performed on the basis of only one attribute that is immutable ID. Let's assume we have a user account in Office 365 and its display name is Bob Ross. User principal name is Bob at domain.com and proxy address is Bob Ross at domain.com. Similarly, we have one account in on-premise Active Directory and its display name is Bob Ross 2. User principal name is Bob at domain.com and proxy address is Bob Ross at domain.com. So the display name for these two accounts is different and you want to match these two accounts with each other. So in this case, soft match will not work because in case of soft match, display name, user principal name and proxy address attributes should be the same or should have the same values for both the accounts. 
Even if we will run sync, this will create a duplicate account in Office 365 with name Bob Ross 2 and the user principal name attribute will have a random number. So to match these two accounts, we can perform hard match. To perform hard match, we will collect the object grid value of the on-premise Active Directory account and we will stamp that value within the immutable ID attribute of Office 365 account. And then we will run Azure AD Connect Sync and these two accounts will match with each other. Now, when we perform hard match, on-premise attribute values will overwrite the Office 365 values. That means when these two accounts will match with each other, the Office 365 accounts display name will have a value Bob Ross 2. Now, let me show you practically how to perform soft match and hard match. So now let me show you practically how to perform soft match and hard match. In Office 365 tenant, I have a user with display name soft match. User principal name for this particular user account is soft match at Office 365 concepts.com. We have assigned Office 365 E3 license. That means this user has a mailbox and this user account is created in Office 365. Now, this is the mailbox for this user soft match and the proxy address for this particular account is soft match at office 365 concepts.com. So as we can see here, this account is in cloud. That means this account is created in office 365. Now for this account, I will not be able to make any changes from on premise active directory. But my requirement is that I want to manage this particular account from on-premise Active Directory, not from Office 365. So in my on-premise Active Directory, I have created a soft match user, a user account with display name soft match. I have assigned proxy address to this user, which is assigned to Office 365 user account. And the user principal name is also updated the same, which is softmatch at office 365 concepts.com. So as we discussed earlier, if we have to perform softmatch, then the values for display name, user principal name, and proxy address should be same for both accounts, on-premise account and office 365 account. Only then you will be able to perform softmatch. So now let's go to PowerShell and let's run sync cycle start hyphen ad sync sync cycle and let's run initial sync cycle press enter and let's go to synchronization service manager let's wait for a few seconds so that this sync can complete and then we will verify the changes so the sync cycle has been completed and let's go to Office 365 portal. Let me refresh the page and let's verify the changes. So here the softmatch account is now showing as synced from on-premise. Earlier this account was showing in cloud and now it is showing synchronized from on-premise Active Directory. So this is how you perform soft match on the basis of three attributes, display name, user principal name, and proxy address. Now let me show you how to perform hard match. In my Office 365 tenant, I have created an account with display name hard match. User principal name for this account is hard match at Office 365 techlabs.onmicrosoft.com, and I haven't assigned any license to this particular user. And this user account is in cloud. That means I have created this account in Office 365. Now, if I go to on-premise Active Directory, I have created an account with display name hard match. The user principal name for this account is same, hard match at domain.local. Now, when I ran sync, it created another account with display name hard match 2 and it assigned a 
a user principal name for this account with hard match and with a random number. We discussed this earlier while I was discussing the concept behind soft match and hard match. The reason why a random number was assigned to hard match to user principal name. The reason is we already have a user. We already have a user with user principal name hard match. So two users cannot have similar user principal name. That is the reason a second account has a random number within the user principal name. Now I want to match this account, the hard match account with hard match to account. So in this scenario, we will have to perform hard match. But before that, let me delete this hard match to account from my Office 365 tenant. So let's move to the PowerShell. So in PowerShell, we will run remove hyphen MSOL user hyphen user principal name and hyphen force because I do not want to get the prompt whether you want to delete it or not. And then let's delete it from recycle bin as well. Enter and let's go back to Office 365 portal and let's verify the changes. Let me refresh the page. So here we can see hard match to account has been deleted. Now, as we discussed to perform hard match, you need to follow three steps. First, you need to collect the object GUID for this particular account. Second step is you need to stamp this particular object GUID to immutable ID attribute of Office 365 account. And third step is we will run full sync. So first let's collect object GUID of this account. So this is the command that we can use to fetch the object grid value for all the accounts within on-premise active directory and let's go to c drive let's open export and let's look for hard match to user so here is the account and this is the object grid value for this account so in powershell we will run command set hyphen ms ol user hyphen user principal name User principal name will be the UPN or user principal name of Office 365 user, which is hard match at Office 365 techlabs.microsoft.com. So this is hard match at Office 365 techlabs.microsoft.com. And then we will use a switch immutable ID and paste this value. Press enter. Now let's go back to Azure AD Connect server and let's run a full sync cycle. Start hyphen AD sync sync cycle. Policy type initial and press enter. And let's go back to synchronization service manager and let's wait for a few seconds so that it can complete the full sync cycle. So the sync has been completed and let's go to export sync cycle for Azure Active Directory. Here we can see one update and the object that is updated is hard match 2. Now if we check import cycle for Active Directory, we do not see any object here. If you see add instead of updates, that means a new object has been provisioned in Azure Active Directory. But if you see update, that means an object has been updated. Now let's go to portal to Office 365 portal and let's refresh the page and let's verify the changes. So here is the hard match to account. I will explain this and here we can see this account is now showing synced from on premise. So here we can see the display name of this account is hard match to. But the account that I had created earlier that had display name hard match. So as we discussed earlier, when we perform hard match on premise attributes values overwrite Office 365 values. So same way. The display name of this account is hard match too. So when I perform hard match, this display name was updated 
on Office 365 account, which had display name hard match. So this is how you perform hard match. So now let's understand what we have covered in this particular session. Soft match and hard match are used to match on premise and Azure Active Directory accounts. Soft match is performed on the basis of display name, user principal name and proxy address attributes. Soft match can be performed if both accounts have same attribute values. Hard match is performed on the basis of object GUID value of the on premise Active Directory account. We stamp object GUID value to the immutable ID attribute of the Office 365 account. And hard match is used when both accounts do not have same attribute values. So if you have learned something new from this particular series, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions related to the topics that I'm posting, feel free to write in comments. I will be more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.